Sure. And, and, and you know, uh, so we're working, the case team is working hard. Uh, that's the, where that's coming out. Yeah, so, so one, one, of the, one of the areas that we're really interested in is being the best provider across your client device. You are. So okay. we don't care whether it's a, it's obviously we'd love it to be a Dell laptop, uh, we understand that, um, or a Dell desktop, or a Dell um, you know, tablet, uh, whether the streak five or seven inch, right. um, a mobile phone, but really, you know, the case appliance over time will be able to manage, um, you know, that other brand that starts with, uh, you know, A. Right. An a. A. <laughs> you know, one of these things. We have an answer to that. We, we do. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Michael actually started out, with his first computer was was a, an Apple computer, right. right? He tore it apart. Yeah. He tore it apart, and but, I'll but, do the same. But one of the things, <laughs> you know, one of, one of the things, I, you know, I'm not a, 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 a prophet say, but it's highly unlikely that, yeah, that they will ever bring out a management device that would manage one of these. Correct, correct. Yeah, right. they are very close. The, that'll so manage a Windows Adele? 7. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. think so. No, yeah, no, that's not happening so. for sure. So we're building a range of consulting-based um, services that are client agnostic. Uh-huh. Right. Obviously works better with the Dell platform. We'll put um, our secret source in, into that platform, but clearly our customers, there's a couple of dynamics. The newer generation coming through, and I can say that because I'm, I'm, I'm an oldie, but the newer generation <laughs> saying to a lot of employees, and we're hearing this from some of our customers, hey, I want to buy my own XYZ laptop. Mm -hmm. yep. All right? I know you've got a corporate standard and maybe latitude, but right. I don't want to use that. I want to use an Inspirant right. Right? or one of your new, you know, brand new laptops that you launched last week. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I want to use that. So then the IT staff says, okay, well, that's, that's going to be very challenging. They scramble. Because they scramble, right? So what we want to offer is the services to help those IT um, uh, you know, professionals who are managing these client devices make their lives easier. Yeah. Not only from a client management with the case type solutions, but also the amount of storage that these things generate is enormous. You heard that this morning, that you know, the, the amount of information you can generate on one of these devices in a year um, is probably going to exceed what you, in, a, in a month or so could exceed what you did in a, in a year. Well, know. Callie can. I can't generate uh, that much data. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly yeah. can. But, but, but it, it, She's got two cameras and, yeah. and is yeah, broadcasting in. And, and, and yeah. you know yourselves, you have multiple devices. Absolutely. You know, people have a laptop, they have a, a smartphone, they, they may have a tablet as well, and there's a blurring between what's a consumer device and what's a... What's a Boy, is that know, the what, truth. Yeah. What, what's a commercial device? Obviously, we have specific devices. Um, so we have our Vostro line, which is our small, medium business um, notebook and uh, desktop line. Um, but then, you know, there's a lot of customers who say, hey, look, I've got this consumer, what, what we'd say is a consumer right. notebook. Um, I've got one of these things uh -huh. that I want to do for my graphics design, which is, you know, it's good at. Um, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, I want access to the corporate network or, or, or the corporate email system. And, you know, we've got to make it work. Yeah. Um, and, and so, I think so that's one of your pet themes is, is convergence or or right. or, just, or, or pro proliferation. So, well, so what's your take? going to happen. You think it's pro proliferation? There's no I, convergence to a single device or a... I, 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 I can't see it. I'm saying there's compromises. Yeah. You know, I, I have a tablet and, you know, typing on that thing is just, you know, it, it's just not productive. I'm saying I, I probably will never give up my laptop because I need a screen and a, key, a physical keyboard. But a lot of people can be very productive yeah. on a 7-inch or a 10-inch tablet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they got but smaller fingers than me, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's the thumbs for me how yeah, I do it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean that having everything go through that one device yeah. it just seems impossible at this point. Well, I think there's always trade-offs. It's either too heavy, you get great functionality, yeah. but you lose that portability. I, I know myself. You have to I always give something carry my, I've got my smartphone and I have a laptop, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes when I'm traveling, I'll travel. I'll bring a tablet along as well. So I'm trying to juggle three devices. Yeah. It seems to, to my, my observation, it's probably three devices have a, 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 some sort of smartphone, a, a laptop, a traditional laptop, uh, and a tablet, or they may trade off the tablet. Right, the, right. But So then are we going to see yeah. man purses come into fashion? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> if you're saying I'm three gonna, devices per person. As long as it's person. mobile enabled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <mate. laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a long year. With, 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 with the charger built into it. So, yeah. so, right. No, look, I, I, yeah. think, I don't think convergence, <laughs> we may see convergence at the back end, but I think, you know, tr once again, restricting, um, you know, what people want to work with, I, 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 you know, 
Just, uh, I don't think yeah. this is going to happen. I'm saying these these smartphones will get smarter. I think we're all in agreement here. Yeah, yeah. I think. I, well, you know, three of us came down together from Boston right. to, to, to Orlando, right. and we brought. I was just doing the quick math, so we brought nine devices. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and I'm yeah. sure they all had different charges and different. Yeah. And that's only because I told him he couldn't bring his his uh, Mac, so because uh. he would have brought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so I think I think you know I think the reality is that people will buy, you know. Uh, whatever they think is the next best thing uh, and, and our job is to help our customers especially the, the IT guys manage those devices make them secure all right um, yeah. Citrix has got a big play there as well uh, Citrix has um, uh, VMware has a play on VDI and so VDI um, has a lot of uh, a lot of um, potential uh, elements but <laughs> it's 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 interesting um, is it when does that what's the crossover when that physical device um, matches the virtual device um, because there's always cost on top of the on the physical device. Yeah. So we're, we're seeing an uh, interesting move recently. Um, VMware bought a company called Pavisa and what Pavisa was focusing on was a, a, a very cost effective virtual device uh, for, for, um, for client platforms. Okay below what um, Citrix was doing. So that'll change some of the dynamics in the industry. Okay. So it's never constant in this. In no, the, no and, it and, never and, is. And, and, even, and even with the endpoints, yeah. you know, you've got a people virtualizing that. So I think yeah. we're running and Apple and, 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 and Windows yeah. on a couple sure. of the And I, yeah, I think the other myth is that, you know, people are quite thin client with VDI. Mm -hmm. It works equally well for fat client as well. And, and it really depends on what customers and the mission, mission if you're a trader yeah. and your laptop fails, right? right you don't want to say, well, um, I can't trade for the next couple of hours because I've got to go and reload my application. And yeah, I'm thinking that. you got to go to another yeah. device yeah. and so you start just give going them, at you it. You just give him a new laptop and he's back basically where that trade was and he can complete the trade. Okay. On the other side, we're seeing a lot of virtual device implementation in the education and schooling market. Yeah, because cause people come and go so quickly. Well, they come and go so quickly and they can hack. <laughs> and they can hack anything. <laughs> they, they can hack anything. So, so, so you know, uh, and students give uh, these these devices a pretty hard time. So, they do. Um, but I, I think we're in, we're in, you know, I think we're cutting through a lot of the hype on, on VDI and I think we're now going to put poise to see uh, a lot more rapid. You think we're going to see it start to take off because I'm still still hearing a lot of POC, I, I, POC. I, I, I think there's still a lot of POC, but I think you know as the costs come down, I think security once again um, will will continue to put pressure on. And it's tough for um, you know if you're the IT person uh, for a small medium business, you've got everything to manage, right? Right. And they got a tough job, I tell you. They got one of the hardest <laughs> jobs in in, in the yeah. industry, right? Because you know. We, you, you got to change the like a chameleon. You, you speak to the IT guy. Let me get the storage guy. Okay, let's talk storage. Yeah, uh, I've got a server problem. Hang on, I'll get the right. server. Yeah, it's the same guy. guy. It's the same guy. I yeah. was talking. I was. I was talking to Wolfgang Gerlich. I don't know if you know him, no. but but he's with Munder Capital. Munder Capital is, manages. I think. Don't quote me. <laughs> don't <laughs> quote me on this. Like you're live, <laughs> you know. I know. So I don't know. Forty billion dollars or something like wow. that, right? He's got an okay. IT staff of seven. Wow. Three doing infrastructure oh, yeah. and four managing yeah. 700 custom yeah. apps. Yeah. 700 custom apps, or I think that's right. I think that's right. It could be 400 custom <laughs> apps. I'm not sure. But, it, but I mean, these were really big numbers with really small staff. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. It is amazing what these small organizations do with, with with such a small IT staff. And yet, at the same time, they're they're expected. Their management is expecting them to keep up with all of the trends and technologies. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's where Dell, I think, can play a a very key role is that they're coming to us saying, help, you know, how do I get to the cloud? Right. What, what are the, do I just jump, dive in off the, off the diving board into the, into the empty swimming pool? Or, you know, what are the steps? What are the logical steps for me to get, get to them? And I think that's, you know, the acquisition, once again, the acquisitions we're making yeah. is, is really putting us in a, in a, a very strong position to be able to be that trusted advisor. Yeah. And once again, back to your original question is, we're not locking you in Right. If you want to deploy a Citrix environment, we'll support that. Okay. Microsoft has solutions, and so does VMware. Um, so, you know, so, so we're not. You know, we'll have an opinion on something, okay. a point of view, <laughs> right? Of course. To, yeah. to a degree. Yeah. To a degree, I'm saying, but you know, we're not ignoring what the customer has in, in, in existence, um, and a lot of the a lot of the, the solutions we have don't mean you know, chucking out what they've got. It's working with you know their existing infrastructure. And making that more efficient. 
So from a from just an employee's perspective, sure. someone who doesn't have all that much contact with the IT department and everything, right. it sounds like you are saying that the IT department is trying to move forward. And, and it, you know, every time that somebody within an employee with a, an employee within an organization yeah. tries to do something else with a different device or something like yeah. that, they they always say. I'm hitting roadblock after roadblock right. after roadblock. It's not corporate well, standard. It, yeah, it's so th within the IT department. How many years out do you think it is before, like you know, a medium-sized business will be able to say yes, use your own device? We'll be able to support that. I, I don't think it's years out. I think it's now. I don't think they're going to have a choice. I'm say with the next generation of, and I'm my daughter, or I'm my, both my daughters. I'm say they're moving into the into the workforce now. They want to carry all these. They want to, companies. but you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there still they are turn it those hurdles that but, we've talked but, about. But companies turn off Facebook and they turn right. on Twitter and no, they turn. We, off we have access you to don't. Facebook, but there are Twitter, right? Um, you know, so we have we have access to those social awesome. media tools because they oh, I got Twitter on on on, on my phone and I got yeah. Facebook on my phone. Um, but a lot of companies. A lot of companies still, do turn it off. Yeah, yeah. they I, do. I think a lot of it is for security reasons, right? Right. right. So I think I think then that, that that's our work is to go help them because. You know, there's a finite talent right. pool out there as well. One of the biggest challenges we have, even as Dell, is hiring hiring key talent. You know, especially in the IT industry, you ask most of our customers, you ask them what's one of the biggest problems they have is getting skilled IT resources. Yeah. And they think, oh, but you know, that's 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 not true in the U.S. Absolutely, it's true in every country yeah. in the world I go to, mm. right? and every customer I meet yeah. um, is you know, one of their biggest challenges. And if they're going to artificially restrict potential talent coming out of the top colleges, yeah. then I, 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 I think resistance is futile is the, is, is, <laughs> is, is, is the word, but within bounds, yeah. with bounds. Um, but, with but with secure work, so that's an assessment service. Yes. So then you come out with a set of recommendations, but you're going to need some tools, some applications we'll help to them. solve we, that. We have so those tools as well so as part of the implementation. So when we do the, after we do the assessment, then we can go and implement the, a lot of those security yeah aspects and either working with partners we have our own uh, IP there as well in terms of you know, how to secure um, their environments yeah. you know within within the cost bounds there's always a cost right yeah, yeah. comes for free but you know I, I think trying to artificially say well no you can't we don't support this brand or this this platform in our environment um, I think that's going to be very difficult for for those companies to, to do because social media for example that's a way of life for these, you know, for the younger, younger generation coming through, and to say to them, "Well, sorry, you don't have access," you, you know. So then you say, you "Have somebody with your laptop, doing well? Here's your business laptop. Oh, you want to do your personal stuff, or you do it on your cell phone?" Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the productivity goes out the wall, uh, out the door as well. So. Yeah. It, I mean, that's that's what I always try to yeah. encourage businesses to realize is that even if they're not using it on the company computer, they yeah. are using it yeah. during right. work. You and know. Uh, so you, yeah. and I think you with Dell, I'm saying, that. you know, we can help those customers because guess what? We're facing the same changes. Exactly. You know, all executives, well, not all executives, a lot of a lot of the the, the, the Dell team have these devices. All right. Right, so yeah. the IT guys are you know putting in processes to to make sure. Like, if you type the password in this term, I think five times, it wipes it. Yeah. All right. So that's the process. So we're sharing those best practices with our customers, and that doesn't have to be a, a company with sixty thousand employees or a hundred thousand employees. That could be a, applicable to a smaller mini business as well. I hope you've got the provisioning capabilities to re uh, reimage <laughs> the, the device because <laughs> <laughs> password that's management what cases is brutal. For, that's brutal. what cases for. So you know, um, but we're, we're really having an. Uh, as best as as possible, a real end-to-end -end approach to solving these IT business problems. Mm -hmm. So, because that's the only way to do it, because you can't just, uh, if you do point solutions, that's nice, but you've also got to sit back and look at the holistic view. Mm -hmm. um, uh, be that from a secure uh, perspective, security perspective, be that from a storage perspective, you know, okay, it's still, and one of the questions I get, what's the most common challenge for our customers around storage? And it's boring. It's, I want to back up my staff, I want to make sure it's backed up, and if I have a problem, how long does it take to retrieve it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're seeing DR now exploding. So disaster recovery, you know, five or ten years ago, you had, to, you had to mirror what you had, it was very, very expensive. Now with the virtualization capabilities, these customers are wanting to put DR sites in, um, and they can put them in very cost-effectively. Yeah. And, and is cloud a DR site? 
potentially. Are yeah. you going to? Are you building out we're cloud building out, DR services we're, we're, uh, for our larger customers? Yeah. But not for your smaller ones. Well, we're still investigating that. Okay. So you know, I think that's. I think there's still. You know, there's still a, a lot of understanding of, of how that evolves over time for our smaller customers. Um, but uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, good old backup recovery. Um, they're yeah. still <laughs> the biggest challenges for our customers right. um, that we're seeing in the storage. You know, obviously managing the data growth, um, as Darren said today. If you want X petabytes of storage, we can do that for you. <laughs> no, but but actually managing, you know, the backup where that data sits, yeah. the cost effectiveness of that data is is one of the one of the really exciting pieces we've got with these acquisitions. Yeah. Well, thank Anything you, Tony. Else? No, that's it. We I know you <laughs> have a busy schedule. Yeah, no, we want to let great. you get back to it, it and enjoy the conference. I will. Yeah. Cool. Thanks very much. Good <laughs> information on the end device uh, strategy. Well, yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was very helpful to, to know. That. No, that's really important because uh, I, I think there's a lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of perceptions.